Hey everyone, it's Nans. Um, I want to do a little bit of update on a couple of things. Um, I haven't been doing videos because I sort of um, closed myself off to it because I was getting like um, perverted messages, I was getting racist messages, um, I was getting messages about um, certain mental health things that were a little out there and it just like hit me all at once so I sort of um, backed away from it for a while until I felt like I was going to continue on and not take down my YouTube page and just have the strength to keep on going because I know there's a few people out there that rely on my updates and my videos about um, social anxiety and stuff. Um, just a little, it's going to be a little update, ugh, I can't even talk today, but it's going to be an update about, um, the social phobia, anxiety part, and also the makeup end of the deal, so it's sort of two and one this time, because I haven't done either, so, with my comments on my page, my actual YouTube page, um, you know, since there was a racist remark left there, I left it where on my main page um, comments are going to have to be approved now because I don't want someone to leave a message and then somebody else see it and I don't get to it on time to delete or block the person. So for now, that's going to um, stay um, where I have to approve what you leave on my main page. I stopped my um, personal messages for a while except for just the friends that I have. But I opened that back up um, because there are a lot of people that um, <coughs> send me messages that do have anxiety and they can't do that if I have that block. So I opened that back up. Um, I hope to keep the strength of these people that are making these comments. I just hope I could keep on blocking them and moving on and not stressing out over um, people that don't have anything better to do with their life except bother people online. Um, so that's just been, there's been a lot of stuff personally in my life that's been going on that has been, um, some really bad events and I've been working through that. There's just been so much and like I said, sort of being attacked on a certain level, um, by certain people on YouTube, I just shut it down for a couple of weeks because like I said, I still want to keep on doing this. So, um... I've been doing research because I know that um, people want to know the technical aspects, but in the research with social anxiety, there's so many different levels. There's social anxiety with agoraphobia, which I have. There's social anxiety without agoraphobia. Basically, I was trying to see is there really a difference between social phobia and social anxiety, where I don't, I don't think there really is, but the technical terms, there's so many different levels. So. I can't really put out there everything because I would be writing a book. So I'm trying to sort of um, bring it down to a point where I'm trying to cover everything, but like I said, that's very difficult because there's so many different aspects of it. And what I'm diagnosed with, diagnosed with is way more than just social anxiety with agoraphobia. So, um... It's kind of hard to do, but I'm still working on that. And I'm working on my video to explain my aspect of everything. I definitely, you know, working on writing certain things so I would be able to say what I feel to so sort of try to explain it as much as you can explain, um, you know, not being able to leave the house or not knowing anybody or um, the depression aspect of all that or just the struggle in it all together with agoraphobia. I just want the words to be right, so that's why it's taking some time. So I haven't forgotten about that, and I'm still going to do it. And um, I hope everybody that does look at me for support will be comforted with the fact that I'm not going anywhere. Um, I, Like I said, I get bothered like anybody would get bothered if they get some type of unwanted attention. And for me, it reaches a different level because I feel like am I safe doing this? And if I don't feel safe, then... Um, that creates a problem for me, so, um, right now I feel like I could do this, so, um, 
I just want to ignore the negativity and it's really hard to do that sometimes. But I do hope everybody's doing okay and if you guys um, want to send me messages and stuff, you could start doing that again. And like I said, if it does say comment has to be approved, don't worry about it. If you've been communicating with me and I communicate back, then we're on, we're on a good level. It's just the people that think for some reason because I guess the mental disability aspect, I want to say, I don't know the right words, but... Because I talk about mental health, um, does not mean I could join in like an army against um, people that don't think people should be medicated. First of all, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a therapist, I'm not any type of doctor, I'm just a person that has this disorder. I cannot give you um, the help you need. Professionals are there to do that. I'm just sharing my struggle. So I cannot join people in their armies to fight against people that are medicated until no no children can be medicated medicated I don't know I'm not in this for that I'm not in this to tell somebody else what to do I'm in this to tell you about my daily struggles and know that you struggle too and we share that in common so we could talk about it together not um, joining in fights against something that um, a doctor should be able to tell you what to do or not. I guess I'm saying I've had to block people because they don't believe in medication and stuff. And like I said, to each his own with that. That's between you and your doctor. That is not between me and you. That's none of my business. So there's been a lot of anger with that that I won't like sort of join something with that. But I don't know. Other than that, like I said, besides the perverts, um, and the racism <laughs> it's been okay I've I've had I think there's a, like I said I found a couple of people that I communicate with and I've been enjoying that and um, I don't know I just like I said hope to continue on with this um, so what have I been doing I've been secluding I've been depressed I've been more anxious than I've been in about a year it's been pretty bad because like I said there's been family things happening, there's been health scares, there's been just a lot of things, so I've really, really been anxious a lot lately. Um, I have been using my coping skills, I have been doing makeup looks even though it hasn't been on camera, I have been doing them and taking pictures. Um, some a little extreme because I do want to create these sort of looks to my feelings on on my anxiety so I could do this in the video so you guys can see sort of the struggle through my makeup um, I want to do it that way so th some things I've been preparing it's just been taking longer than normal because I have been weighed down by life itself if you understand what I mean um, okay so as far as the makeup aspect my consciousness is, ends two weeks from now I've gotten entries and I've gotten comments, but the video entries, uh, thank you guys for sending in the entries, um, I still have yet to get, like, a extreme look on, on somebody really not caring about the makeup they put on, I think people are still trying to, um, not look, you know, colorful, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just looking for that outrageous, um, you know, like I said, you're sitting there and you're a child and you have all these colors and you're just putting it on. I mean, somebody put glitter on their cheeks. I mean, use ten different colors on your face. I mean, that's sort of what I'm looking for for this. And like I said, I appreciate all the video responses that have come in so far. And I'm um, just hoping I have, you know, get a little bit more entries. And like I said, um... Go through my video that I made and, and look at what I did, what I sat down, and I didn't have anything planned out. I just had the colors that I actually loved and that I never wore before because it didn't match anything else and it didn't go with anything. It was just too outrageous, so then I put it on. I mean, that's fun. That's sort of free in a way. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys um, enter, those who haven't yet. And um, what else? I will be having my soft lips review after this video. I'll, I'll tape it because um, I want to get that updated. And I'll have future makeup 
looks later on, maybe maybe this weekend or maybe next week starting them. Um, there's still a lot going on, but I just wanted you guys to know that I'm still here and I'm still working on things and um, you guys tell me how you're doing, you know. I sort of miscommunicating with a few people, so um, like I said, it would nice it would be nice to know how you guys are doing, and um, I will see. Let's see. No, I won't see you guys, but I will be filming. Well, filming like I'm a film star now. Um, I will be taping the soft lip review after this one and I will be having my future journal entries and future makeup looks to come so I guess I want to say to the perverts leaving messages creating accounts to leave messages that are really disgusting um I just don't see the purpose of that I mean if somebody is interested you don't say disgusting things in a message. I mean, what type of woman would actually say, oh, look at these disgusting things. They're so wonderful. Let me talk to this person. No. I I just don't understand that. So you will be blocked and you could create as many accounts as you want and do it over and over again, but I always have that block button on my side. I don't know what else to say to that. Um, so I just hope you stop and go mess with somebody else, you know. So that's it, and um, like I said, I'll um, end this now and start with the soft lip review. Alright guys, bye.